Happy Saturday, everyone. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today on my channel, I'm gonna be sharing you how I make homemade glazed apple turnovers. These are to die for, and I'm so excited that it's finally becoming fall right now. Even though it's a little early, I'm still really excited to pop out all of the pumpkin, apple, caramel, all of the indulgent recipes. And this is the first one, and I'm happy to share it with you. So let's get started. For this recipe, you're gonna need some store-bought puff pastry. This is just one whole package, so two sheets, and you wanna make sure that it's thawed out. And it's not quite there, but it's getting there. You're also gonna need some dark brown sugar, some salt, some cornstarch, some granulated sugar, cinnamon, one egg, and then for the glaze, you're gonna need some milk, some powdered sugar, and then of course, some Honeycrisp apples. You can also use Gala, Gala, whatever you wanna call them. I'm just gonna roughly peel them because we're gonna dice them up after this. And you wanna make sure that you dice them finely enough because me personally, I just like them to be smaller because it's a lot easier to eat. So I'm just gonna do my handy dandy little trick like I talked about in the video about potatoes and peel towards me. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these apples. And all I'm doing is, I'm not using an apple core just because I don't have one. So what I'm doing is just cutting the four sides off, just like that. And then from there, I just like to split that one in half, just depending on the size of the slice. And then from there, just probably do about four times. And I'm just gonna continue doing this for the rest of the apples and then we're gonna start adding in the sugar. Okay, so all the apples are chopped, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the brown sugar, salt, cinnamon, and then the granulated sugar. So I have it in just a little baking dish right here just so that I can evenly coat the apples, but you can do it in a bowl, whatever works. Just pour that on. Once all the sugars are in there, I'm just using this little miniature spatula and I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure all of the apples get coated with the cinnamon, the sugars, and this smells delicious. You wanna make sure that you're using three large apples because if you have three small apples with this sugar, with the amount of sugar that we're using, you will just have overly sweet apples and toner turnovers. And I really don't want that for you. This is the perfect ratio. It actually seems like quite a lot but once the apples start to absorb all of the sugar, the sugar becomes a liquid in the oven, and so it really does work out perfectly. Just mix all the apples together, and you can see that it's just creating a beautiful, beautiful sugary layer. And while this is setting, I'm just gonna let the sugar sit on it for a little bit, while, a little bit longer and let those juices absorb all of the goodness. And I'm just gonna put this to the side. And now we're gonna work on the pastry. So, all you're gonna do is just make sure it's completely thawed out. It takes about 30 minutes. And we are going to make sure that we use all of the flour that's already on the dough. So, what I want to do is, because it's a little bit smaller, I wanna use a rolling pin to kinda of push it out and make sure I can get rid of all of these lines from where it was folded. And we're gonna push it out and then we're gonna go ahead and cut it into fours. So I'm rolling out the dough and I'm just lightly patting it making sure that the flour is still on there because I don't want it to roll to get stuck. Making sure that all of the flour is good. And I just roll it a few times up and down because I know it can be um, like pushed back and forth. It can grow a little bit more. So I'm just gonna do this a few times until I get the perfect square. All right, that's perfect. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it back this way. And now is where it kinda gets tricky. You wanna make sure that you can cut it into pretty good fours. You want them all to match so that everything goes together. You want the side, they're folding over, and so you wanna make sure that you're cutting pretty good squares so that they all match up. So I'm just gonna do that. Make sure I'm cutting it evenly. So you just cut it in half, and then you cut those in half. All of the dough is cut, and now what I'm gonna do is just kind of manipulate it with my hands, just so that it makes like a perfect fold over. So you just wanna use your fingers, make sure that the flour is still on there, to kind of spread it out just a little bit more. You can do it um, like 
by yourself like already practicing like the fold over like making sure that the corners line up so I'm just gonna stir around these apples and you can see where it's already created such gorgeous juices and these are delicious this is perfect so now it is time to add some to the pastry so just in the center I'm gonna add in probably about about a tablespoon or two just enough Perfect. And I am just going to almost push the apples under like that and let the sides meet. And when they meet is when I will close the ends. Kind of want to push around the apples very gently because you don't want to bust the dough. And I want to make sure the other side is good. You can kind of fold it over. I mean, like I said, the presentation really does not matter all that much. And then using a fork, I'm just going to grab my fork and make some indentions just for some closure. It'll help it stay closed and it'll also help it look pretty. All of the toner turnovers are done and they are looking gorgeous and delicious. And now I'm just mixing together the egg. I just put the egg yolk in, I discarded of the white and I put in a little bit of water, probably about a teaspoon and I'm just mixing it up because I'm going to brush this on the tops and the edges to make sure that it stays closed and so that it gives it like a golden top. So really lightly just kind of brush on. This does not have to be anything beautiful. You just want to give it a little bit of a gloss so that it'll look pretty when it's done. I'm going to grab my fork and I've done it to a few of them and just poke holes like that in each one perfect and then they're ready to go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes while the turnovers are still baking i'm going to go ahead and work on the glaze so all you need for this is the powdered sugar and i'm just going to pour this in a measuring glass because i like the pour spout and it's easy to just drizzle on rather than having to use a spoon so i'm going to carefully try and pour this in without it getting everywhere and then I also have about four tablespoons of milk and I'm just gonna go little by little so I'm gonna put in about one tablespoon and see if it needs more and so forth just because I don't want to end up using too much maybe two tablespoons not quite a tablespoon and I'm just gonna mix until I know it's the right consistency all right, needs one more maybe, maybe two. They're not complete tablespoons just because it's hard getting it out of this little glass. This little glass. So that should equal about one tablespoon. So this is the perfect consistency. It still has some thickness to it and it's not completely runny. This is perfect. And when those babies come out of the oven, I'm just gonna drench them in this and it will just Flow off to the side so that every inch gets covered, and boy, it is delicious. My turnover is cooked for about 15 minutes, and y'all, they are perfect. You can see that the egg wash did wonders, and it just created this awesome gloss. You can also use butter if you don't have an egg with you, or if you don't want to waste a whole egg. Just use a little bit of butter, spread that on. It works perfectly. I just prefer the egg because of how glossy it makes everything. And I also let them rest for about five minutes because as soon as the icing goes on this or the glaze goes on this, I'm going to dig in. And so I wanted it to cool off just a little bit and help it settle and thicken up after all being through all of that heat. But now it is time to drizzle on this glaze. So I'm just leaving it on the sheet pan. And like I said, I'm using a measuring cup so I can have the spout. And what I'm gonna do is I'm really just gonna put like a little line like that on all of them and the glaze is literally just going to fall in all the right places I'm just gonna go ahead and place the turnovers on this long dish just kind of layering them all right last few perfect all right I'm gonna go ahead and grab a plate and get ready to dig in pick the biggest one because I'm allowed to do that I'm the cook I'm the baker I'm allowed to choose 
and it is time to eat. So let's try it. I know it's gonna be so hot, but I can already tell the layers in here and you can see where the cinnamon sugar is just oozing out and that is what you want. Perfection, I'm so excited to try this. Wow, this is amazing. I, ha I have to take another bite because one more, just one more. And then I'll probably have three more after this. These are amazing. You can see the apples in here are just covered in the sugar and everything is just perfect. Mm. That is delicious. Woo, hot. I hope that y'all enjoyed this recipe. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.